Taylor and her competitive drive has always been fueled by her um, her brothers. She wants to be better than them in anything and everything possible. Uh, some good memories are the race to the car every day, wanting to be first in the car, um, battling one another physically to get there first. Uh, a memorable moment was when um, she was nine and the Women's World Cup was playing and it was halftime and the three of them ran outside to play soccer and right before halftime was ending, um, Taylor came in yelling and screaming. Her, her and her brother got into it when they were doing 1v1 and she her knee popped and made a big sound and she ended up having a fracture in her knee that day. <laughs> um, all just in the name of winning against her brothers. So certainly her brothers have given her the, the fuel to be as competitive as she is. And it's not just on the soccer field or in the, on the court in basketball or baseball when she was younger. Um, it's certainly in the in the classroom too. She's wanted to do better than both her brothers academically and that's driven her to study harder, work harder, <laughs> take harder classes. I mean, whatever it is that she can find to compete with, she will. When she was in middle school, um, the speech contest was a competition. So she would sit home and write her speech and practice, 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 get grandma to practice with her, get grandpa to practice with her, um, just so that she could make it. Uh, I think the second year she did it, she made it to the finals and, and took second place and did fantastic. Um, so anything she puts her mind to, she's pretty much unstoppable. She just, she works for whatever it is. She's very focused. Someone once called her relentless. So that's definitely a, a definition of Taylor. She doesn't just, keep going to win, she keeps going to do the best that she can do. And she wants those around her to do well too. She's certainly one that's cheering her teammates on and she's the kid that will find someone that's sitting by themselves and sit with them. And she's did great. Uh, one of the big, one of the things that was really cool was when she made the um, Southern Lakes Conference all academic for top 10 and they all sat at tables with kids from across the conference. They didn't get to sit with their friends from their school and she, this, talks to everybody and networks with everybody and she walked away from a table of 10 with like six new friends on snapchat and like four of them are going to madison so she already had acquaintances that she had met um that she's going to see up at madison she's just um a really cool kid because she um she just brings out the best in those people around her and just really wants to have fun in life and meet people and be competitive and just she's just a really good kid